Is Dr. Doom in danger? That is the real question today as we do this Old Gems video because for the longest time, Dr. Doom has been regarded as probably the best Mystic Champion in the entire game. However, there have been a lot of additions after his release and some of these additions are just really, really crazy. For example, there is Tigra, who is probably the best DPS in the game flat out. There is champions like um, Rintra, who is crazy on both the attack and defense spectrum. There is also Absorbing Man, who is making waves in the contest already. There are a lot of champions that have been released that just really lead the question to is Dr. Doom in danger for his like throne, right? So I thought today we would just explore this champion, go over why I think he is still like a top contender in the mystic class because yeah this man still has a lot of sauce he just has so much power control his power control has been regarded as like the best in the game for a while i think that it goes to i mean i guess it is like really really strong is it the best probably because it's a power steal and power steal is very very like hard to counter like i think only hulkling and a few other like science characters counter it but besides that it is like pretty much untouched it is a very very good ability and yeah like dr doom just has a lot of things going on still right he doesn't neutralize because that was past his prime but he does have pretty much every mystic trope besides that like he has access to nullify to power control and very tanky as well like that's pretty unique to him he has a ton of tankiness he has the highest crit res in the game as far as i'm aware he also just like barely takes damage i feel like because his stats are just broken levels of good this man just has a lot and i feel like his his ease of use is still very very high because the doom cycle once you get it down it is just very easy to maintain and it is just a really powerful mechanic right and here dropped sp2 and yeah the fight is just over and by the way his damage output is still very, very good as well this is like what two minutes for golem vision not too bad like the mystic class isn't really the damage class for sure it's more of like the control class besides tiger though because she is like an all out dps right but um besides her it's just a very control filled class and dr doom is probably the king of the control part of the mystic class because his power control is just so so strong i feel like no one else can really touch his power control in the mystic class while there are champions outside of it like you know hulkbuster that do contend with his power control in the mystic class i feel like it is just doom uh there is magic as well though but magic is just you know beyond a noodle right but hey ascension is a thing and it's coming out so maybe magic will take her spot as like the best power controller because right now i feel like it is just not her because power control is good but having damage is good as well and she just does not have that as a five star character but doom does have the damage output like for a control character his damage output is fantastic so yeah i feel like doom is still a very very strong character and in like battlegrounds he's not the fastest for sure but he gets fights done pretty well um additionally he is very annoying on defense you can't just take him with anyone right like he is a very very annoying defender because of his block penetration because of his tankiness like you can't just go in with the dps and expect to fight doom with ease no he is very hard to deal with especially if like you don't have a counter for him right but as time has progressed there have been a ton of dr doom counters there was literally one this update with silk so yeah like doom counters are pretty common now but that doesn't mean he's not a hard defender still so he has that value for sure he has good like attack potential too but to be honest i feel like his value lies more in like alliance war and questing for sure um alliance war he is one of the best still like flat out because he's just so so safe right like i know people use doom all the time for alliance war in like the very high tier alliances where fight time is a thing then maybe he's not used as much because like i said dr doom he is a very good damage dealer, but he does take time to ramp up, and compared to, like, your Tigras, he just doesn't stand a chance against her, right? But, um, yeah, still has a lot, still does a lot, and for being from 2019, he is just still very, very solid, right? Um, but then, like I said, a lot of Mystic characters have been coming out recently, and they've all been just insane. Kindred, 
The only exception, I'm sorry, but yeah, Kindred is just not good in the slightest on attack, which really stinks, but it is what it is. Sometimes pure defenders are a thing, right? Like, you know, there's Mephisto, who is also a Mystic character. But yeah, besides Kindred, like, the past Mystic characters have just been insane. Like, Tigra, like I said, um, Rintra, who else? Tiger Rintra, Absorbing Man, those three are the big ones. Like, those are the champions I feel like contend with Doctor Doom for sure um none of them have the control that doom has though to be fair like doom's control in the mystic class is just unmatched besides magic but magic is kind of like irrelevant right now but emphasis on the right now because with ascension she might be back in contention right but yeah damage wise though tigra is there to just surpass him um buff control wise i feel like rintra does have that slightly better overall because neutralize is just so strong because it just locks down the opponent like for the rest of the fight pretty much however kabam knows how to stop neutralize and it is simply just giving them increased ability accuracy so they've done that already so that makes neutralize irrelevant but it makes doom shine so doom is still just really shining which is so surprising because he's still a very old character right but hey i'll take it man because doom is pretty fun to play i think he's pretty cool like, I know he's a very common rank up because of prestige, but don't let that take the fact away that he is still very, very fun to play, right? And Absorbing Man is the last character here, and he is just an oddball, man. He is so, so odd because he is not like a Mystic character in the slightest. He doesn't do like pretty much anything that Mystics do besides having like some buff control with the buff duration reduction of like those four buffs that are pretty dang niche so yeah absorbing man is a weird one but he is still very very strong because he just covers pretty much every important immunity in the game also just has a ton of damage output as well like he is very very good and while he isn't anything like dr doom he is still a very powerful character right so you can't take that away from him but the more I think about it, the more I feel like Doom is still kind of just the king of the Mystic class because control will never be irrelevant, right? Control is still very, very important. And with the time change in Battlegrounds, it's even more important than ever right now. So there is that too. Like, this man just will not die out. I don't think he'll ever be bad. He'll, he'll never like lose value. That's what I think for sure. Because when worse comes to worse, he still has value on defense, right? But yeah, this fight went SP2 and the fight is just over, just like that. And now we have this very, very chunky King Groot with like about 700,000 health, which is just craziness, man. Like these Act 8 fights just have some insane health pools, but hey, you know, we are at the 7 star level at this point. Uh, we're we're going to get some Ascension for 6 stars soon as well, so it does make sense to have these health pools pretty big, right? But Doom here is just a powerhouse. Like, check this out, man. His, his buff control is just very, very good still. It is very, very solid. However, it does kind of, like, there is a ceiling to it. Because you can't nullify every buff if there's, like, a ton of buffs. Because he just has his nullify on contact, and then he has the three nullifies on the SP1. He has some extra ones with the aura. He also has the stagger as well. Like, he has a lot of ways of buff control, but there is a ceiling to him for sure. It is very noticeable. Like, if there is 10 buffs or something, you will not get rid of all 10 buffs. Like, that's just, that won't happen with Dr. Doom because he does have a lot of ways to nullify, but they all nullify, like, one buff at a time, right? With one exception, if you stagger the opponent and they get 10 buffs at once, it takes away all 10 buffs, right? But if, like, the 10 buffs trigger at different points then yeah the stagger only works for one of them so keep that in mind that his stagger can be very, very good at times or it can be pretty underwhelming at times right and like that's where neutralize comes in because neutralize just shuts down every buff there is and it is just very very overpowered right but the thing is you just add like extra blood accuracy and they just cannot do anything right um so that's why there are pros and cons to Doom's buff control. Same thing with Neutralize as well. Like, there are some times where Doom's a superior, and then sometimes where Neutralize is superior. Like, there's just a lot of different pros and cons. But that's great. I like the diversity in the Mystic class. I feel like it's a good thing. 
And while I was talking, Doom has done this fight pretty well. He just controls the fight so, so well. Like, that is his main thing. He just controls and looks very cool while doing it, right? Like, for 2019, this man has some insane animations. They went all out for Doctor Doom, which is good because... I think 2019 was the year of the Fantastic Four, so they dropped the thing at the beginning, right? And then it was a one year build up all the way till November and December where they dropped Doctor Doom, Mr. Fantastic, and Silver Surfer. Of course, Doom being the best out of those three, but you know, Reed Richards still very, very good as well. And Silver Surfer, he's pretty fun, right? So I feel like it was a pretty like insane year. And the fact that like these guys are all still pretty dang good in 2023 is quite insane, man. It's just a very nice time because the buildup was just worth it, right? It was such a nice buildup. And then we got like the final payoff. And now look at this, Dr. Doom being probably the best mystic still in the game. Very fun times, man. Very, very fun times. But yeah, this lane here is very fun. Um, any mystic lane, Doom just destroys. He's just so, so good for. That is his thing. He just has all the mystic tropes but he has the tankiness to make him good for pretty much any piece of content out there that's why i think he is so powerful right and that's why i think he is probably still the best mystic in the game like honestly he might just still be the best one in the game i'm sorry but he is just so valuable to anyone's account right and here i dropped the sp3 and the fight is pretty much over now pretty dang sweet but this is going to be a three-part old gem series first is dr doom then Tigra, which is honestly the biggest contender for the best Mystic, to be honest. And then part three is going to be a 2023 revisit for Rintra, who is still very, very good. People say he might be the best Mystic. I don't think so. I think he's just very, very solid on both attack and defense. But Doom is honestly, I think, still a massive workhorse. Still just has a ton of value for any account. Just a very strong character, man. And the best part is undupe he is just a powerhouse right like doesn't need to be awakened in the slightest he just does his job and he does it insanely well even unduped which is just perfect right so i got the sp3 going i got the doom cycle going now which is perfect the doom cycle is so practical as well that's like a massive pro like this man is just so hard to stop because the doom cycle is like the pinnacle of control it is just a very very nice time but yeah here i have the sp3 ready again we go back in drop a combo we drop the sp1 afterwards into the sp2 i believe and check this out man it's still one of the best animations in the game 100 percent. it is still so so good and he is just melting now and the fight is just over and yeah dr doom is still dr doom <laughs> he's still just dr doom a very cool character a very very strong champion still has a value literally everywhere there is alliance war there is battlegrounds both attack and defense there is story content attorney pain gauntlet he just does it all and he does it very very well so i feel like dr doom is still probably the best mystic in the game maybe there are some contenders but we're going to explore that later on this week or next week actually sorry but yeah let me know your thoughts on dr doom and yeah that's about it for me